Hey you guys, this is Becca from Beck About It. Today I am fulfilling two challenges right now. My girl Aisha and I just decided that we would challenge each other to do a video a week for our channels. So I'm accomplishing that by completing my video this week. But I'm also off-roading. I'm winging it today, guys. I also got challenged by another good friend to not be so forced and rehearsed and like pre-planned in my videos. And to that I say I am amazed by the absolutely magnificent divine feminine that I'm surrounded by, challenged by, supported by, loved by, encouraged to grow with. Um, there are some really amazing, powerful, potent goddesses that I'm surrounded by. Thank you for helping me do the work. The um, topic I want to back about today, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. And I am going to talk about race today. And the aspect specifically of white privilege, which a lot of people seem to be wanting to shy away from lately. And I'm learning how to step into my responsibility as a spiritual teacher and as an ascension guide. This is all new to me, guys. So thank you for being patient with me as I learn how to navigate this journey a little bit better and with more grace and wisdom and tact. Many of you are friends with me on Facebook or you are part of my Facebook group. And I think I have shocked and surprised a few of you with some of the posts that I've post recent, posted recently related to white privilege. Okay. And I see a lot of people on my page commenting things like, whenever you say Black Lives Matter, I have certain people, a segment of the population that come back with all lives matter. Okay. And I really like to draw metaphors or allegories that relate to this situation and I try to interpret them energetically because that's my forte. I see energy. And this is how I'm going to relate that specific situation. So when someone is saying Black Lives Matter and that makes you uncomfortable or bothers you, it is not that person who's posted about Black Lives Matter's responsibility to mm, heal their wound or trigger. It's yours. If you're triggered by the fact that somebody posted something about Black Lives Matter and you really feel the need to comment, all lives matter, that to me is like this energetically. A mom posts on a page about her child having leukemia and you come on that page and say instead of leukemia cancer matters you say mm -mm. um kidney cancer matters so you're invalidating that person's perception that the situation they're encountering, the realistic perspective that they are feeling is not as important as the one that you are saying. And I know a lot of you would say, well, when I say all lives matter, I'm just saying that we shouldn't be dividing each other. We shouldn't be categorizing each other according to race. Being colorblind 
is spiritually bypassing. I'm going to say that. I really do believe that. We are all unique and different with different gifts. Nobody here is special, but everybody is unique. And recognizing and honoring that uniqueness is important. Assimilating it into one big glump of gray, that's not what this experience is about. This experience is about being an individual, incarnated, individuated. It's about experiencing ourselves as a unique individual being. We're growing up. <laughs> We're learning how to be human adults, not human adolescents as a collective consciousness because it's kind of where we're at. So when somebody is saying that their child's cancer is horrific and that they've had to go spe through specific things in order to handle and deal with that specific cancer, you don't get to come on and say that your kid's cancer was worse or is more important to be cured than theirs. That's just my opinion. And I'm trying to learn how to be responsible as someone that other people may watch and maybe learn from, grow from. I'm not perfect. I'm not always right. But I do have my own individual, unique perspective. And it is something that I do feel necessary to share. Um, the second thing that I want to talk about is spiritual bypassing as it relates to racism. And this is how I feel about there is systemic racism in our society. I also believe that if you don't call out the true root of the problem, it's not going to be properly resolved. Let me give you an, an example. Metaphor. Energetic metaphor. Okay. If you are a woman and you are constantly dating a man who is narcissistic, that is not about the narcissistic man. That is about you and what you tolerated, what you allowed, what you missed, okay? We all, all of us are responsible collectively for what we have manifested, okay? I definitely am not going to take responsibility for what someone 200 years ago or 5,000 years ago did. That's not my karma to pay. But what is my responsibility is what I have individually allowed and consented to in my soul. So if I have allowed and consented to abuse from a narcissistic man, it is my responsibility to address and eliminate the part of me that resonates with that toxicity because that's what attracts it into my life. So if you are white, you have benefited from the society that has been created in the manner and structure in which that it has been. So if you're the type of person who refuses to believe that there has been white privilege in this country, you're spiritually bypassing because you're refusing to look at the part of society that has resonated for you and allowed you individually to benefit while turning a blind eye to those who do not have the same experience in our society. So if I post something on my page talking about white privilege and it triggers you, that's not mine. I've done my inner work and I've healed. If you are triggered by what I post regarding white privilege, 
that's for you to deal with. You are more than welcome to come on my page and comment. You are more than welcome to come on my page and have thoughtful, respectful debate. But when you come on my page and tell me that I haven't done my inner work or healed because I'm talking about the true, actual reality of white privilege in our society, I'm looking at the root of the wound. I've already, I've already looked at the part of me that resonated with that toxicity. It doesn't trigger me. It doesn't bother me in the manner that it bothers those people who feel the need to come on and correct me. That's projection. There is a difference between judgment and discernment, and there is a difference between mirroring and projection. Some of us need to do a little more work. <laughs> I hope you can see that this is really truly coming from my heart and it's not coming from a place of judgment. I'm simply trying to mirror out the things that I have done work on internally and individually and the things that I have looked at. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. That is not something that I'm attached to. I'm finding those that do resonate with my message. And I can agree to respectfully disagree with many of you. And that's okay too. I still love you. And I hope you stay on my page. And I hope you continue to thoughtfully debate me. I hope you continue to walk beside me and heal and learn and grow and teach me. Because when one teaches to learn, and I'm here to grow and learn and expand from all of y'all. Thank you for watching this message. If you liked it, please like it, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Beck About It Akashic Reader, follow me on Facebook in my group at Be About It. And thank you for YouTube subscribing at Beck About It. I appreciate you guys all being here and I love you. Thank you so much for all your support and for listening to my ramblings. <laughs>